Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your monthly love forecast for what is your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you want to know about. What do they secretly want to tell you for February? Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. If you guys would like to become a member, all you do is click the join button below. If you like a personal reading with me or you would like to pre-order my new deck, all the information can be found on my website, jenniferwalkersn.com, or check out the description box below this video. All right, darlings, remember this is going to be a general love message. It's not going to resonate with everyone, so you can check your moon, your rising, or your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross-watch for more information. Also... Uh, remember, I'm doing things differently, so if you guys like it this new way, you found it helpful, hit that like button, let me know in the comments below, or you can do both. Alright, so let's jump right in. So what's going on with my Tauruses? Love interest. What is my Taurus's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? What does my Taurus's love interest secretly want to tell my Tauruses? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What does my Taurus's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does my Taurus's love interest secretly want to tell my Tauruses? What does my Taurus's love interest secretly want to tell my Tauruses for the month of February? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. What does my Taurus's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does my Taurus's love interest secretly want to tell my Tauruses for February? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. So the first card is going to be about the current situation between you guys. This is going to be, what is the lessons? What is the blockages here for this connection? And the longest part's going to be, of course, what do they secretly want to tell you? Because obviously that's why you turn on this video. Let's put a lot down for that. Oops, make sure I put it in order here. Okay. And this is going to be what is going to be the outcome of this connection, right? So, because I know a lot of you wanted to know, okay, that's great. What do they secretly want to tell me? But, you know, what's going to happen with this connection? All right, so this is what's going to happen with this connection. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty extensive reading. We're going to layer more cards on top of this, so stick with me to the end. Let's jump right in. So we're going to focus on first what's currently going on with this connection. All right, so there's uncertainty around this connection, okay? So what's the uncertainty? It's, it's unclear whether or not there, there is a deeper understanding if there's a romantic connection. So for some of you, you're like, is there a romantic connection? Is it not a romantic connection, right? And for some of you, it could be a work-related, school-related connection with the Eight of Pentacles, or it's like, you know, I don't know if there's a romantic connection. Should I put the work or effort into this? Or I have uncertainty if, 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 if this, this connection seems to be taking a lot of work, what should I do here? Okay, let's keep going. Yep, their bear card energy for some of you may clarify that. This could be a work-related connection. This could be a sense of, man, a lack of control. There seems to be some sense of, should I put the work or effort into this, this connection? Okay, if it's not work-related, it's like, you know, I, I, I need to gain the strength. Should I put the work or effort into this? Because I just don't know. I don't know if there is this, this romantic connection between me and this person. Okay, so let's see what the block stillion challenge is. Oh, we got control coming up here. So it's about taking charge of your destiny, inserting yourself. So the sense of control, willpower, right? A lot of wills at play, maybe um, a lack, feeling like a lack of control around it. Mm. Six of Pentacles is saying, okay, someone's like, I have a lot to give here, you know? There's a sense of charity, uh, uh, something is not balanced here around the situation. It's like someone has a lot to give, but they're only giving a little bit. And there's some things going on with house and family possibly, or possibly the connection maybe not close to home or something to do with stability and stableness with the house card energy. Okay, so if we see here, the numbers are saying, okay, eight, putting the worker effort into healing and recovery. Six is saying, again, healing and recovery around stability and stableness. Okay, so let's see, what do they secretly want to tell you? I'm at a crossroads, I need to make a choice. I'm trying to be patient here and I'm willing to accept delay because I know anything worth having takes time. 
very soon I clearly want to decide because I know a decision needs to be made. I'm waiting for the right opportunity to make this choice. I have a sense I can fulfill my wishes if I'm patient. So I'm just going to plant some seeds here and see what happens. I'm going to let this play out here and I'm just going to be patient and see what happens. But very soon I'm going to just look at what's going on here and I'm going to decide some things. I have like a reconciliation, a healing, or there is some kind of sense of recovery that needs to happen. I feel like there's a deeper connection here with us. I feel like there's spiritual lessons to be learned between us. I really want some kind of change or this also this person could also be saying you really brought some big huge breakthroughs for me, right? Cuz I feel like there's something deeper. This really shocked me. This really surprised me. You know when you when you meet someone and you're just like, "Wow, I had that feeling like, wow, this person is just something more than I realize here," right? When you first meet that person and you have that energy and you're like, whoa, this is this is something I wasn't expecting. It's almost like this person's like, wow, there's a sense of healing, a, a deeper connection, something that's very transforming about this. This is really weighing on my mind. There's a sense of mystery around this, a sense of confusion. I'm, I'm getting a new perspective, a new way of looking at this connection, Page of Swords energy. And also, we look at that energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, possibly, for some of you. So, we see that there is a waiting around for that opportunity to fulfill wishes and like waiting to see what happens here. There is a lot of burden and responsibility, which is causing some confusion um, because of abrupt decisions, uh, new perspective, possibly even with the Page of Swords, could be seeing immaturity, possibly. It doesn't have to be. Okay. All right, so let's keep going. I want to communicate some things that we're talking about the letter card. So this could be letter, message, document. Okay. The card itself says they are reaching out to communicate. News or messages are coming soon. So they do want to have some kind of news or messages coming soon. If we look what's above that, it's saying they're trying to make a choice possibly for reconciliation or they're focused on some kind of healing and they want to communicate that to you. And we see what's above this. They're being patient here because they feel like there's a deeper connection. And they have a sense that there is something nurturing about this connection. And they have a sense, you know what, I need to be wise in my decision making when it comes to long-term commitments here with the King of Pentacles energy. And I need to make a choice. Yes, there's some headbutting about this choice. But I'm really missing you. I'm really, really missing you. Your absence is felt. I long for your embrace. I have so much regret. So I feel like for some of you, like this is the way it's looking to me and feeling to me. It's like this uncertainty is like, all right, for some of you, this is something to do with somebody you've dealt with before. Or this is a person that is potentially someone new that's like, oh my God, I'm having all this regret. You really, there's something deeper here. You're bringing me so much healing. And you know what, this, this, this closeness that we have, you know, I feel like I'm willing to wait because I feel like I have a sense that, you know, uh, there's a deeper connection and there's some kind of transformation. But for, I feel like for most of you, this is something to do with somebody you have dealt with before. And they're at a crossroads and they're being patient because they, they, they need to make a decision or they know there's a decision that has to be made about a reconciliation because they're like, wow, you, this is a really deep connection. Some really big things happen with me. Some big transformational change has happened here and you know I want to send you that message and, and let you know that you are a wise decision when it comes to long-term commitment I really want some uh, a sense of wisdom around this choice because I have so much regret and I'm missing you so much okay and if we clarify with the numbers here before we go into the Lenormand we're seeing that this person wants to fulfill their wishes they're thinking and contemplating about how to complete this the sense of confusion and being wise in their decision making when it comes to choices because of some sense of change we see that there's a waiting around for some kind of decision. They have a sense of blockage, delays, and challenges. They want some kind of news. They want to give you some kind of news about a commitment, engagement, or marriage. And there could be people involved or other people involved. We see that the, um, the garden card is there. Or it could be saying, you know what? 
this is really weighing heavy on my mind. I want to go out with you. I want to be with you, right? Or there's friends or family involved with the situation. We see a person cards coming out. Yep, there's the letter, the message, the paperwork, the, test, the text message with the letter cards coming out. We see the book. It's like they're trying to gain knowledge about healing and recovery with you because yes they are hurting okay so this person is really missing you they're hurting they have all this regret going on here so let's move in to see what the outcome is going to be here with this connection there you go they want to socialize with you they want to go out with you we see the garden card yet again they want to make that effort so they're going to try to socialize and make that effort i feel like that's what this letter is this this text message this letter this document this paperwork some of you maybe even receive a letter in the mail because it's any tangible kind of written thing here and they they love you feelings are real and true and a connection between lovers a feeling of complete emotional happiness so this person it looks like you guys are going to go out you're going to make the effort because there is love here yep romantic gestures are going to be taken the sense of nurturing energy with the queen of pentacles energy and there we go, Three of Cups, celebration, hanging out, being together, Three of Cups, a sense of joy. And we see movement, travel or change because of wisdom and talking and speaking, yep. So wow, this is really great. You know guys, I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'm sorry about the delay on these. I had some technical issues that I had to take care of. Um, so it's fixed now, hopefully, cross my fingers. Um, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in another date or two. I hope you guys have a great rest of your month. If you guys would like a personal read with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. Thank you to all my members and I will see you soon.